Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Kevin Holmes with KSHB 41 News. Here are your headlines. An update out of Grain Valley on a murder case involving a missing person. Well, today, Jackson County prosecutors charged Michael Hendricks and Maggie Ibarra with first degree murder on the death of Kenzie Renee Aubrey. Last month, investigators worked with the FBI to dig on the property owned by Hendricks, and there they found remains of Aubrey. Hendricks and Ibarra had previously been charged with nine sex related crimes, including sexual misconduct and child molestation. We just have a tragic story to report out of Independence. A two-year-old dying in a shooting linked to an unsecured gun. That comes to us from the Jackson County Prosecutor. It happened Sunday night around 9.15 at a home near South Nolan Road in Walnut Street. Right now, no news on any possible charges in this case. A deadly semi-wreck killed four people near Garden City, Missouri. According to state troopers, the semi heading south on State Route F drove off the road, crossed 7 Highway, hit an SUV going north, and then pushed it into the median in parts of southbound 7 Highway. Three people in the SUV died. The semi-driver also died. Another person is in the hospital right now. Their condition is unknown. All right, weather-wise, we're looking at a very interesting weather pattern. The stormy weather again continues to be near the east coast. Lost of rain and thunderstorms there. And back to us, this is the forecast for the next two days. A few thunderstorms way out in western Kansas, but nothing heading our way for another couple of days at least. 59 degrees in the morning tomorrow, 74 degrees by noon, 83 Tomorrow afternoon, maybe up to 84 for the high temperature, about 4 o'clock. 85 on Wednesday, 92 on Thursday, uh, 85 on Thursday, 92 on Friday, and 94 degrees Saturday. Just slight chances of thunderstorms showing up. No extreme heat, but it's going to get a little hot Friday and Saturday. All right, remember to get your news and weather anytime at KSHP.com.